Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. In the wake of the recent election, today I would like to talk about burial tubes, or also known as time capsules. You never know, you might want to put away some things for future generations. For instance, high capacity magazines. Future generations might be awed at the fact that people in the past, Americans in the past, actually were allowed to own high capacity magazines. So I think it's a good idea to put away a time capsule for future generations. What I have here is PVC pipe. Now this is an inexpensive way to make four two and a half foot burial tubes. I bought a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe this is four inch inside diameter. This is the thicker wall here. This, this is the wall that's about a, about a quarter of an inch thick wall. There, it comes in a thinner wall, but you want the quarter inch wall, four inch inside diameter. Now you can also buy a larger PVC pipe, but I found that larger PVC pipe is very expensive. And when you get to that point, you might want to just go ahead and buy the burial tubes that you can order online, uh, but the online tubes, they're bigger, so you could actually put firearms in them, but they cost $100, $200 a piece. Uh, but what I'm showing you today is an inexpensive way. You don't want to have all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak. So this is a way to make several bur burial tubes to, to put away several items. By buying um, one 10-foot piece of PVC pipe, I cut it into four sections, two and a half feet each, and then I cut it with a saw, and then I filed it down the edges nice and smooth. You'll also need, of course, PVC primer and cement, and the instructions for how to use these are on the labels. Now this is the most expensive part of this project, and this is the top and the bottom cap. Uh, these pieces here cost seven dollars and fifty cents a piece which is outrageous but there really isn't any alternative now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cap on the bottom using the cement of course put a, a cap for the bottom and I'm going to seal it airtight all right then for the other end I'm going to use another cap and I'm going to leave this one unsealed I'm going to bury the tube this end up, and as long as it's not in a low-lying area where water could get in it, uh, it should be okay, open. This is a very tight fit. I'm actually going to put some uh, petroleum jelly on here before I put the top on to give it even a better seal. And these little caps right here are not necessary, but they were about 75 cents a piece. So for just a little added protection, I'm going to put one of these caps on the top, and then I'm going to put this cap on top of that. So by buying these pieces in this manner, these tubes are going to cost me about $20 a piece, all totaled up with the cement and everything. And if you've looked at the cost of burial tubes online, you, f you will find out that they are much, much more expensive. Now we're limited. And what you can put in four inches, of course, you won't be putting a lot of firearms in there, but there are items that you could put away. Uh, for these high capacity magazines, for example, I'm gonna put these for added protection, I'm gonna put these in plastic bags. Throw in a couple of desiccant packs, seal this up, and these will fit in here very nicely along with some ammunition or whatever else I might feel like putting away for future generations. Put another desiccant pack in there to ab absorb any moisture. Dig a hole with a post hole digger and bury these tubes in a location where I can find them later. And that's uh, a key to uh, burial tubes is making sure that you're able to find them or that someone else can find them if something happens to you. So what you want to do is you want to carefully make a map which shows the exact location of your burial tubes and keep that in a safe place where only your closest friends and family can see it. 
I like this corkscrew type post hole digger because it's just about the right diameter and this makes it very easy to dig a hole uh, three feet four inches which is about the length of this pipe here and then to make the hole bigger I can use this shovel here which is the correct diameter of my burial tube and then use this post hole digger to help dig the hole or to remove dirt from the bottom of the hole and I have some rusty iron here that I'm going to bury in various places around my burial tubes. These are to serve as decoys because if anyone comes looking for my stuff they're probably going to be using a metal detector and after running into a few decoys and having to dig up holes um, that turn out to be fruitless uh, we all know how lazy government employees and other thieves are and I'm hoping that after a couple of uh, frustrations they'll decide to just go ahead and move on to greener pastures. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. I promise to Abraham